Jessica Sup, a Reiki master teacher and intuitive. And today we have a very special healing session. We are going to be protecting your peace, peace of mind, peace of clarity, your peace, your peaceful energy, baby. We're going to do that protection, okay? So if you're new to the community, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your nightly self care routine, babies. And if you're returning, Welcome, welcome back, baby. If you know, I love you, love you, love you, love you. This is a place where we hold space for you to just take care of yourself. And it is self-care September. Ah, oh, so we're all talking about loving ourselves, creating boundaries, which is gonna come up today, baby. We don't like a good boundary. <laughs> and also to know that this is an opportunity for you to grow in any direction you want to go to. So just feel like this is a safe space for you to be in. Uh, we are going live September 14th at 8 p.m. EST. Also, the first degree Reiki practitioner, Reiki Level 1, has opened up. So you can sign up to be a part of it. There are two options. You can be a part of the cohort or you can be self-directed. It's just up to you and what you most connect in your learning style. I'm so excited. Yay. Um, and cannot wait to see you blossom into our bloom. So let's go ahead and get started in our session, okay? And also, you can join our self-care energy healing circle this month on Patreon. And to participate on that, you gotta be a part of the Patreon community. It is only $3.33. <laughs> you cannot beat that with a but let's go ahead and get started. Well, family, let's work on this energy protection, my babies. Okay. So, with energy protecting, protecting your energy, it is 100% your responsibility first. You might think that removing a person, a situation, or something is the only step you need to do and it's important that you do remove things that are no longer serving you. But you also have to create boundaries in maybe relationships, interactions that maybe are good for you, but all you have to do is actually lay some firmer boundaries down. Not everything is like, oh, you just gotta, you know, you don't like what somebody says, so you're gonna push them to the corner or something like that. It's not like that at all. Sometimes you have to give someone boundaries to give them structure so that they can treat you the way that you deserve to be treated, love. It can be, it could all be so simple, babies. It could all be so simple. So let's work on this protection first, okay? So that you have these energetic boundaries at first so people don't fuck with your energy. <laughs> very relaxed in this moment, feel very calm in your own sense of self, and feel very self-accepting, self-loving in this moment. It is very important that you surrender to the understanding that you are enough, that you are masterful, masterfully, that you are craftfully created and living and living out the life to the best that you can, and also you gotta celebrate your successes, even small ones. So we're gonna place you here in this energetic frequency and just surround you with a sense of calm. Now you can see yourself on a field, a beautiful bed of grass, or maybe you're just kind of floating on a cloud, feeling yourself feel lighter and just letting some things go, okay? That is no longer serving you. No longer, no longer, no longer, no longer serving you. And let that go. Release and let that go. Release and let that go. Release and let that go. Okay. Now we start our session off with a prayer. It is not a religious prayer. It is a prayer to root us in our individual healing experience and to bring us together as a community. And because consent matters, do I have your permission to say a prayer? Okay. May I touch you? Okay. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Dear Mother, Father, God, and all for the highest vibrational good only, please connect us to our highest intentions and validate information from 
So oh. 